Welcome to How to Apply for Society of Women Engineers Scholarships Part 1, Preparation. We recommend confirming your eligibility before starting the application process. Watch the Am I Eligible for SWE Scholarships video. Once you've determined you're eligible for SWE Scholarships, you can gather the appropriate information. Aside from your current school and intended school, you will enter activities, any work experience and awards, etc. You'll upload a current transcript and a resume and possibly an acceptance letter. You'll also need to prepare an essay on why you would like to be an engineer or scientist. We recommend writing the essay offline and pasting it into the text box provided. You'll need recommendations from two references for your application to be considered. One from a teacher or professor, ideally from a science, technology, engineering, or math class. The personal reference is someone who has known you for at least two years and is not a relative. If you want to be considered for financial need-based scholarships, then you will need to enter an Expected Family Contribution, or EFC, and contact info for a financial representative for the school you will be attending in the fall. You'll want to work with your references prior to submitting their contact info so that you know they will be able to complete their recommendation prior to the deadline. They will be receiving emails from the scholarship system, so they should identify scholarships at SWE.org as a safe sender in their email software. Once you submit their info, they immediately receive an email. Note that you must submit their contact info by your, the applicant, deadline. References typically do have an additional week to submit their recommendations. Still, we recommend submitting their contact info as soon as you can to maximize their flexibility. You're now ready to start your application in the SWE Scholarship System. Watch Part 2 of How to Apply for SWE Scholarships.